Hey guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home, and today I want to show you how we created an arched opening using air stone on our fireplace. So one of the most popular blog posts on my blog is our brick fireplace makeover using airstone. We did this a couple of years ago. I had this awesome opportunity to work with airstone. So we covered the brick in this beautiful birch bluff color. And then I ended up giving it like a German schmear. And I had so much stone left that I even used it in the kitchen as well as an accent wall. Well, ever since we finished the fireplace and made it over using airstone, I had always sort of envisioned this rustic wood beam mantle with the stone. I think it would be such a beautiful combination. And a couple of weekends ago, we ended up finding one on Facebook Marketplace. It's 100 years old, this beautiful barn beam, and I showed it to you guys in my antique haul, and I'm super excited to install that, but we haven't gotten to that portion of the project yet. In the meantime, I had some other ideas for our fireplace that I'd been thinking about for a really long time. One of those ideas was to create an arched opening on the fireplace using additional air stone. So I showed my husband some pictures and he sort of agreed that it would be beautiful. <laughs> so we ran to Lowe's and we picked up some more air stone and I created this archway over the top and it was super simple. In fact, this whole project was sort of inspired by an antique fireplace grate that I found on Facebook Marketplace. It was only $10 and when I put it in front of my fireplace, I just loved the look of it. It felt more antique, it had more charm, more character, and I loved that subtle arch on the grate, but it didn't really mesh so well or blend so well with the square opening behind it. And so that's what sort of inspired this whole project. I thought, wow, it would be beautiful to have a stone archway over that opening. We, like I said, we went and grabbed the stone from Lowe's and basically I just laid down this fireplace grate that I had found on the ground and I lined up the stone right on top of it and sort of formed my arch and then I just used a pencil to mark where all of our cuts would go in order to get the stone to arch beautifully like that. If you're interested in learning more about ear stone and how to install it, I have a full tutorial that I will link down below for you guys. But basically, it was a few simple cuts. My husband just switched out the blade on his chop saw for a blade that's meant for cutting stone. And then I actually installed all of the stone myself. My husband was gonna help me with it, but he's a volunteer fireman. And he got called to a fire and I was like, I can do this, I did it before, so I'll do it again. And I used some uh, tile adhesive and applied the stone. And it, I feel like it turned out so beautiful. I did the German schmear on the arch as well to give it that sort of that old world feel. I have a blog post on that as well if you're interested. Now let me just say, our fireplace is not real. And it's very sad to me, I'm not sure why that is. We live in Michigan, we have pretty brutal winters. Uh, but we also sort of live in a tourist town, we're on the lake, so I'm not sure if this home was built as a summer cottage, I really don't know. We had this vent-free gas log unit in it that we picked up a couple years ago. I was super excited about the idea at first, but every time we turned it on, it just sort of put off a little bit of a funny smell. Eventually, um, you know, every time we had it on, I would sort of get a headache from the smell, and even with fans on and windows open, it kind of defeated the purpose of having this, you know, gas fireplace unit. So we've been talking for a while about different things. Obviously, we would love a real fireplace. It would be amazing to, <laughs> to turn this into a real fireplace, but in the meantime, we ended up finding these really cute little electric wood-burning stove heaters. And honestly, I feel like it looks pretty realistic when you turn it on. It puts off a lot of heat. And so we decided to bring it home and give it a try. And you guys, the moment I put it inside my fireplace with this arched opening, I just fell in love. It just looks so English cottage to me. If you go on Pinterest and type in English cottage fireplace, in most cases, you're going to have stone, and in most cases, you're gonna have a wood-burning stove. Now, I wish mine were real, but for now, this is gonna work 
just fine. Another thing that I decided to do in order to make the stove pop a little bit more was I decided to paint the black brick inside of the fireplace sort of that uh, sandy like fire brick color. I had you know some paint downstairs once in a while if I see some clearance paint or oops paint as it's called at our hardware store I'll pick it up and I happen to have one that kind of resembled fire brick and so I painted all the brick a lighter color and then um, I also there's some sort of some broken tile down below the heater and I painted all that to match the tile that we have up in front of the fireplace. Once all that was painted and I put the heater inside the fireplace, I just, I really fell in love. I love the way that this looks. I love the charm that it adds to our home. And honestly, I feel like the flame looks very real. I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the orange glow beneath the wood stove, but overall I think the flame and the lighting and even the logs look pretty realistic. Another thing that I decided to add to sort of make the stove look a little bit more real is I happen to have some logs that I got at Marshall's years ago. It was like a Christmas decor item that was clearanced and it was this grouping of birch logs with some pine branches or whatever. And they're real logs, but I thought, you know, in a lot of the photos that I see of old English cottage fireplaces, they've got wood stacked up next to the wood stove. So I had my husband cut all of these pieces in half and I just stacked them up next to our little electric stove heater. And I think it looks so beautiful and adds so much charm and really makes the fireplace look real. And just because I know someone's gonna say something, don't worry, the sides of this heater do not get hot at all. I mean, not even a little bit. They feel cold to the touch even when the heater is on full blast. The sides do not even get warm. So there's no danger there. One thing that I would like to add is some black stove pipe on top of the fireplace. I know that it's only a couple of inches that you would see, but I think that would even make it look a little bit more real by adding some. So we're gonna go to the hardware store and try to pick some up this week, and I can't wait to show you how it all looks together. I'm just really happy with the way this fireplace turned out, and the ironic thing about all of this is that when I put the grate in front of the wood burning electric wood burning stove as much as i love that great i feel like it almost hides the beautiful stove so <laughs> i'm gonna hang on to the grate for sure because when the heater is on it does the front of it does get hot and i have little babies still we might have more little babies i don't know <laughs> i'm not hinting at anything i'm just saying in the future we might have more and I know I can just see little hands touching that. So I'll definitely hang on to the grate. It'll be nice to have whenever we run, run our new little wood stove. But I, for right now, I'm enjoying just seeing it, you know, um, in the arched opening. So, well, I hope you'll stay tuned with this fireplace project. Um, hopefully within the next few weeks, once the beam is all dried out, we can install it and then I will have I guess the finished look that I've been sort of dreaming about for all these years so I'm excited to see it all come together and I'm just so thankful for all the progress that we've made over these last you know eight years that we've lived here it's it's neat to see these dreams that you've had for so long finally come you know come to be so anyways I hope you'll stay tuned and of course I'll update you guys as as we tackle that but thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel please be sure and hit that subscribe button bye guys